another technique for concentration and where the pratyahara slowly goes into dharana there is a there is a crossing there and overlap is the candle gate Candle gazing is done usually with a candle without any draft so that the flame is stable and not moving or twitching. The flame should be in the eye level. All right. So, as I'm talking, of course, the flame is going to be um, twitching, but as soon as I stop talking, there's not going to be, yeah. Table. All right, and here comes the cat. The candle gazing can be a little bit complicated, but you can make it simple as well. So we need to simply look at the candle. The spine is vertical in some kind of meditative position, like the hero pose or the lotus. And what we want to do is we want to stop blinking. So look at the candle. In, in this process, you're going to see that my, my eyelids are going to go a little bit lower, but not completely. Now, as, as when you start doing this, it's going to be very hard to stay for a minute or two without actually blinking. You're gonna, of course, have some tears in your eyes, but what is important is to resist the reflex of blinking. So if you really, if it becomes painful to look and you really have to close your eyes, do so with intention of closing and with the intention of opening. You will probably have to do that a couple of times, but make sure that the eyelids are not strained like this, but relaxed. Now I want to close my eyes. I am deciding I'm going to close the eyelids. Okay. And then I'm going to open them again. When you are sort of done, when you manage to do this one minute, or even I think half a minute would be a good see my eyes want to close but I'm not letting them the flame is switching so I want to really focus on the flame I want to forget about myself when you are done you're gonna close your eyes and inside your eyes you're gonna find the flame I mean, not inside, on the inner screen of your eyes, you're still going to see the, the image of the flame. So keep on looking at it. If it moves up or down, just follow it and make it steady. It's going to turn into a pink or even white dot. Just look at it, make sure that it doesn't go up or down. This is also why the flame should be steady. Mine is now, until you lost it, still there, going slowly down. But I can still see it. Still here, until you lost it. When you lose it, 
when you don't see it you can open your eyes blink and then you're gonna do the palming hmm? we did the palming sometime earlier all right so that's the trataka and uh, it's one of the the cleaning procedures that uh, you can do even daily but it can also be used as a meditation technique um, the one that brings you to the concentration and one pointedness of the mind so it is the the bridge between the pratyahara because we forget about the other senses and we we actually ignore the sense of um, of um, seeing losing ourselves in the flame and then all the other senses also get lost uh, or and then we internalize it by closing our eyes and looking at this internal image still pratyahara but in a way overlapping with dharana which is the concentration which then brings us to the meditative state so i hope you're gonna find it useful and interesting i need to i need to cry a little bit